Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanji subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. Here we have Mika Neko and this Zef01, which is a person that Mika Neko reached out to in DMs in regards to something that she wanted done. It was, I think, four songs, one for free, three for actually being done, you know, that type of thing. One to, one to kind of get an idea of how they mix things and the other ones, if it, things were good, were going to be mixed by them. And this person did one of the most heinous things you could do in the VTuber field. And one of the most heinous things you can do when you reach out to somebody for business or for anything. DMs are private. DMs are meant to stay private. Someone who releases DMs because they're angry at somebody or to get back at somebody or to knock someone down or to do something like that is lowest of a low. They are just trash, in my opinion. You do not release DMs like that. It is just trash to do that in order to knock someone down. This person wanted to knock down, um, make an echo. I've had situations where someone's released my DMs. That's why I feel so strongly against it. They are trash. They are the lowest of a low right here is what happened it is really bad i trusted him and asked him to do a mix but suddenly i'm being exposed is this world really crazy yes it is mika neko unfortunately you'll have vtubers and you'll have other people do this it's not normal right there's no professionalism at all well even if there is no professionalism exposing the request is not allowed even amateurs should be able to tell the difference contracts and things like that are supposed to be you know if you're working on any type of business you're supposed to keep it off and keep it you know separate even if you're just having a dm conversation with someone else you're supposed to keep it as separate and as private as possible unless someone gives you the you know the rights to release the dm and this was their status the the zef status that was removed that's why it's unavailable because they hit it now they say um right here it's really unfortunate that my dms since this time have been exposed and the project i'm thinking of has been revealed but this incident has made me realize once again that i need to value everyone's various opinions i want to put the bashing in the past listen to criticism properly and become the kind of person who can be reassessed I absolutely agree with that. Hopefully she can be. I hope that those who have left me will come back, even if it's just someday. I want to become the kind of person of, that people are glad to have had their side and on their side and supported them. Once again, I'm sorry about the past too. I'm not strong at all, but I'll do my best to become stronger. I'll probably delete my tweets. They haven't, which is good because then we can read this and see what's going on. And people are giving them support. Of course, this incident was just an unfortunate accident. So please don't worry about it. Do your best. I'm rooting for you. It was not an unfortunate accident. It was someone being vile and villainous. And like I said, I have zero respect for people who release DMs like this. I have zero respect for people who release things that are supposed to be in private. It's supposed to be held in confidence. I have zero respect for that. Thank you so much for all the mix masters who contacted me after listening to my stream. I'm sorry for the late reply, but thank you so much. You're also kind. I want to ask you for help. I'm so grateful. And, um, you know, this is the same thing about being exposed. This is the things that were happening here, um, you know, about the whole thing like they actually did the whole request release what this person says here is just a guess but it's something like this received a request from me Echo, although behind the scenes story in the industry about mixing and live shows etc one song free three songs to discuss replied no reply for about a day Mika Neko re re betrayed me, he said angrily. Now, so because the person did not receive a reply when they wanted to, that's when they released the, the things. And that is just bad. That is dumb. That should never have happened. And I don't know how someone can actually do this. But again, like I said, I've been a victim of this myself for a smear campaign for a Google Doc type of thing. So I've been a victim of private conversations being released because someone wants to, you know, bury you, unfortunately. Says my careless post, I'm very sorry for causing you so much trouble. Uh, basically talking about the Mika Neko thing. Some people were saying here, I think it's better running away without any intention of apologizing at all. But if you were to apologize in a post, it would be for posting inappropriate content. It's not like we're in any trouble, uh, even though it caused trouble for the client. So you shouldn't do things without thinking too much, right? So yeah, basically it caused trouble for the client. It caused trouble for Mika Neko, which was a client that he was going to get. He was going to get probably a lot more stuff. I will no longer be accepting mixed requests, they say. We do not take on any obligations. I really did horrible things to her. I have done horrible things to her. We're very sorry for the inconvenience. So yes, this is a big inconvenience for Mikaneko. This is not really fun at all for anybody to have go through. And, you know, I wish her the best because like I said, I've experienced this myself. Now we go towards something that I covered in an earlier episode. It gets worse. It basically, the this whole thing was they were doing a collab with um, an energy drink company. And what they did is that these two people, uh, Kusuha and them, 
they decided to say, oh, this goes perfect with liquor. Curtis Andy suggests mixing alcohol with caffeine. What could possibly go wrong? One, bad drinking habits destroy the brain cells. Two, the cocktail was the idea from the staff. Three, incompetence of any color in general. Seems the dots are beginning to get connected. This was something that was approved by uh, staff. It had to be. This was something that was a sponsored thing. Sponsored things in in Nidisanji, from what I understand, are very, very tightly controlled, as they are in most organizations. There are things you can say, there are things you can't say, things you can do, things you can't do. I can see the accountant asking why the frick the company spends so much on cheap sake and Red Bull. All they had to do was shill a, a energy drink. They had one job. And they screwed it up so spectacularly that outside forces had to intervene. The outside forces being the Japanese government health agencies had to intervene. And the the uh, the energy drink company had to intervene and be like, this is, you know, be careful when mixing drinks like this. Uh, make sure that you don't do it too much. Blah, blah, blah. It can be dangerous. November 2010, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration told the manufacturers of seven carbonated beverages uh, that their drinks could no longer stay on the market with their current form. And the FDA does not support for the claim that addition of caffeine to these alcoholic beverages is generally recognized as safe, which is legal standard. Producers of cal- uh, carbonated alcoholic beverages responded by removing the caffeine and other stimulants from their products. Mere- meanwhile, Kurosanji livers are telling people to do this. The Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries stepped in and made an announcement on their Twitter nine hours ago. So yeah, this one right here. I went over in the morning. This is basically saying caffeine is found in coffee. Avoid drinking caffeinated beverages along with alcohol. This can lead to too much caffeine as well as too much alcohol. So they had to put this out. And the thing is, here is someone like Lamy that shows that basically it is known that it is something that that happens, but not safe. And she's saying, you know, there are people who mix things with alcohol, uh, but for her, you know, from what she knows, it's not safe. And yeah, she's pretty much saying that it's not safe, pretty much saying that it isn't um, recommended in any way. I don't think she should do it. She, <clears throat> she's recommending people not to do it. It would mess up your veins. Even Lamy, which is which has her own drink, she has her own like uh, wine. Yeah. So basically, she's saying it's a bad idea. Even Lamy says it's a bad idea. Four Loco was something over here in the U.S. that was restricted because of that. Because it had caffeine. It got people sick. It got people extremely, extremely, extremely drunk. And it got people really sick. We just thought the promotion of mixing energy drinks with alcohol was worse, but it's been translated in English. Image of the entire translation about what people should drink to mix the ASAP energy drinks, which is ASAP was a company that they, they did the energy drink sponsorship with. According to the Desanji staff, seems to be a giant red flag. How to drink recommended by our staff. Recommended by staff, by the way. Chami Sap mix one-to-one, Chami Sul, and the ASAP Energy, and you can have it together. Imagine Kurosandi did the unthinkable and throw both Kane and Kuzuhe under the bus, which are they going to do? Kuzuhe is going to get thrown under the bus. Others have stated, problem is that people don't know how much they actually drink. Um, even then, a typical vodka Red Bull is made with 20 years ago with 250 milliliters, 8 ounces, and 2 ounces of vodka. Quick math makes makes it so you want to convert it to soju. You're going 8 ounces to 4 ounces at worst, 2 to 1. That's assuming my memory was correct. Definitely not 500 milliliter can we have now. You can't scale up Period. If you scale up like that, it's going to be really bad for you. Chami Sul's is 17%. ASAP Energy, 20 milligrams of caffeine per 100 milliliters. Drinking 600 milliliters of 1 to 1 is about 50 grams of alcohol and 60 milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot. Doesn't sound too bad to compare with vodka Red Bull. 40% vodka and 32 milligrams of caffeine. Ratio 2 to 1 would be 120 milligrams of caffeine and 80 grams of alcohol. So that would, um, that would be a lot less. A lot less than what's happening right now. Uh, so you scale down the alcohol to match ASAP. Chami Sul, you get 375 milliliters of vodka plus Red Bull with 50 grams of alcohol, 80 milligrams of caffeine. Recommended by our staff. You can't be serious, can you? Already beware about mixing energy drinks with alcohol. Yeah, basically the Lamy thing that I just that I just told you about. She said, don't do that. Don't mix with alcohol. Basically, don't mix anything with alcohol. So I hear someone is saying Lamy mentioned as well to not mix with alcohol. It is the thing that I just watched. I said, don't mix this. It's this one over here of do not mix both alcohol and that together. So even Lamy, who has a vested interest in you buying her alcohol because she has an alcohol out. She has like a plum wine or something. It's really good. And uh, even she says, don't do this. Japanese government also recommended don't do this. So it's going really bad. This is a really bad look for Nidhi Sanji. So here we go. Uh, Of course, Doki Bird has been getting win after win after win after win and holy crap there's been a lot of winning involved in uh doki bird's life right now she has been uh added into the marvel rivals alpha test and we'll be streaming that on friday a community manager for marvel rivals team reached out and wanted to give me a code yes because right now there's a lot of positivity surrounding uh doki bird 
from the company side, it's absolutely trying to cash in on all the positivity that's around Doki Bird right now. But uh, on Doki Bird's side, it's of course trying to network, which is very important when you are a small creator, when you are a creator of whatever size, it is very, very, very important to network and very important to um, have these little wins there, you know, as many wins as you can get. It says, change the schedule. It, so she's gonna be doing that now. It says, unmarketable. Yes, feels like Doki since her comeback has had more success, that more sponsors and success than most Niji members have had in all their career. It really feels the Niji management really worked overtime just to obstruct more than anything. I would confidently say all of Niji AN combined. Unmarketable according to any color, of course. Almost every day now I see a new sponsor or event involved in or a collab I was hoping for. Good stuff. I realize there's a lot of it. It's just brands advertising themselves, but in the end it's the same. Doki stonks up and everyone wins, including the sponsors. The viewers, the sponsors, everybody wins. I just hope she doesn't burn herself out. I feel like she's finally has an outlet for all her ambition and Niji is suppressed, uh, like Niji did suppress her. So she's kind of going crazy. Uh, they, the people taking L's, of course, are going to be taking as many uh, of those those cuts as many as possible. And it says, I'm effing flabbergasted with the amount of opportunities Doki seems to keep getting. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. It's Doki, but they still don't stop coming. So as an investor, I would have grave questions about how many sponsors got turned away because of corporate politics. While I'm happy for our tomato overlord, I hope she does a bit of cloraxing time and don't overwork yourself. That's very important. Don't overwork yourself. I am no one to say anything to Doki because I am so tiny. I am not even on the board at this point, on the, the, the chess board or anything like that. But, uh, you know, Doki Bird, as everybody who is a content creator, needs to take care of themselves as much as they can. All right, everybody, we're going to do a quick little thing over with Oren-chan. I've talked about her before and the situation that she was in after the earthquake that happened in Japan. But right now she's doing something very, very positive for everybody. First of all, she put even indie VTubers like me can do 3D live like this without going to 3D studio. Things to prepare, virtual motion capture, VC face, web motion capture, finger tracking, Vroom, which is another tracking app. Prepare effects in OBS and use them at any time with Mokopi and personal person operating the OBS live camera. Hope you enjoy the 3D live and the whole 3D live is here. We're going to take a look at a small portion of it. Basically, she did her dancing. She did all these things out there. Look at all this. This is this is good production quality. These are all very good production quality, as you can see from here. And she didn't just do that. I learned something from the past 3D Live. It's been almost four years since I started my activities as a VTuber, and I thought that everyone had the knowledge I've gained so far, which is not true. Uh, but surprisingly, they have not been the case, and she's known this, the, the Orange Chan has known this. In that case, it might be interesting to make a series of videos based on my knowledge so far and post them as videos. Especially as a Japanese person, I feel that sharing my knowledge in English would be helpful to overseas people. People say very interested to hear your thoughts and knowledge and uh, your first post. I learned from the first post already, as a lot of people did. I did as well. Uh, we have this other thing. I decided to make an explanation video for everyone. Surprisingly, there are no videos with explanations like this. I think it's probably because it's hard to make it. Streamers are busy with their own activities. However, I think the most important thing for indie VTubers is to help each other. So I'm going to make this. However, I'm an amateur in video technology, so please do not expect high quality. Also, I'm Japanese with very poor English skills. So I'm sorry if I use incorrect English. No one's going to care. I think everyone's going to be happy that you're making this orange chan. I lost a lot of videos, a lot of things in the earthquake, so I think it will take some time to make the video. Uh, by the way, this entire 3D live performance, she's, she's putting it down there again. Of course, watch it if you want. And of course, 900 people bookmarked it. I was one of the people who did. A lot of people did because this is interesting information that a lot of us don't know, especially small VTubers. We all assumed that it was going to be in the mocap studio, you know? I'm making a 3D live explanation video while watching over the dogs. It's more difficult than I imagined to make something that everyone can easily understand, but I will do my best for everyone. Send me your energy. Your energy motivates me. And, um, you know, thank you so much, Oren Chan, for the birthday concert. I swear I'm going to do a segment just for you being so kind and sharing the knowledge. I'm doing the same thing with the segment. Please visit Oren Chan. Please visit this 3D live VTuber that's going to be doing this. And of course, support them as much as you can, because this is a big thing for the VTuber community. As everyone knows, or maybe people don't know, I don't know if people know or don't know, but uh, Kuro, K9 Kuro, who used to be Mr. Rias, had an issue uh, with bad tax advice that was given to him by someone that was recommended to him by any color. At least that's the story that we heard. And he had a large tax debt to the the country. I'm not sure if it was England or if it was the Philippines or if it was Indonesia. I don't remember, but it was he had a large tax debt that he paid for it, like in hundreds of thousands of dollars in tax debt. That's how much money he actually made. And now he gets to actually uh, go through with it. He gets to actually fix the issue that he was having. And let's hear what he has to say. 
I, I've spoken about this before, but uh, basically everything I earn is at a loss. I don't use any of my money on on much of myself. Like I know I traveled a bit, but um, those those travel tickets were like bought as a gift for me. Oh, nice! Like, everything I earn from stream is at a loss. Um, because I'm paying like a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> like uh every every month for taxes i'm still paying off yeah. my uk taxes monthly around UK, 13,000 and yes i'm paying indo tax jesus christ indonesia too. don't hear that but it's whatever so i'm paying that as well and on top of that i'm also paying for my rent here and i'm also paying for my living expenses like eating. jesus so, so it's paying for a really, ton of things uh, you know if i'm being fully transparent i i earn around like like 10 10 to 12k 12k on a good month 10k on a normal month this is from Switch only, but I'm spending around 13k. I do have some saved up, but it's kind of going. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of going down, away. Right. So everything I earn is at a loss. That's why I was very hesitant to buy like new stuff to invest into streaming, literally because I can't really do that right now. But the good part is, chat. The good part is that it's only half a year left of doing this. Half a year left of these payments for the the big UK tax, and then I'm I'm good. Only half a year left, man. I I just keep telling myself that every day. I'm like, bro, just give it half a year, and things will things will be sorted, and then I can kind of enjoy enjoyed my money more, you know? That was yeah, good. Like, uh, Vishojo give like a little budget for help with stuff, like projects. So I've been using uh, the Vishojo budget for most of the stuff, like most of the projects, like the 3D model and shit that I got and other things like that. They weren't even from my expense. It was from Vishojo's uh, pocket, but I've kind of run that dry now. So unfortunately, I'm kind of just in a position where nothing's really happening, but it's kind of awkward. But uh, only for, like five, five, six more months, man. And then, and then I can be happy, happy, chappy. That's good. That's very good. Very good to know that. The source is here. Of course, uh, go and watch the source as well. Let's go. This is great. This is the source here, which is Daily Dose. I do hope that this goes very well for them. I do hope that he gets this tax debt done because any kind of debt can weigh on you so heavily. I've been in debt before. In fact, I'm still in debt right now and it weighs heavily. That's why I have zero money zero money at all for anything and i definitely understand what he's talking about i don't make anywhere near what he makes i make like less than a tenth of what he makes i don't make nearly that much so uh you know i make like maybe one percent of what he makes honestly but uh it's definitely tough it's definitely tough so i'm very glad that kudo has that situation handled and knows that it's going to end soon let's take a look at this that's happening right now not related to Nidhi sanji but these words from a production kawaii should showcase what a vtuber talent agency should have in order to thrive competent ceo responsible pr and respected talents good morning kawaii's company culture is one of friendship and teamwork we all talk we all get along together and if you are unwilling to abide by that ethos please do not aim to join us i know as we grow it will be difficult to maintain that but we will protect it for as long as possible you don't tolerate anything less than complete kindness and support we all build each other up. That is the way the VTuber community is supposed to be so far. But it hasn't been. It really, truly hasn't been. And it's very unfortunate that um, that it hasn't been. Because um, it is absolutely something that I've always wanted in a community. It's absolutely something that I've always wanted in the VTuber community. Something that I pushed for as much as I could in the VTuber community. Because who wants to deal with negative stuff? You know, I said it didn't turn out to be true since last year. NGN presented themselves like a family and took a look where they are now. Kawaii also did some fishy moves several times, especially the early gen. Remember one talent named Oshian? It's one of her fastest growth got, got terminated because she's doxing her gen mate. But before Oshian, there was also talents got terminated and graduated. All of V did it, though I guess soon it'll be the founding members were part of Kawaii and chose to leave together. So production Kawaii does have some missteps. It is not an innocent place of course it's not innocent one of the reasons Didi Sanji has become like this is in my opinion there was no liver that took the role of leader of livers to, to speak for them and negotiate with any color uh Ichikara Tsukinomito was in the position to take this role but was never the kind of personality to do it Higuchi Kaede and Shizuka Rin did sometimes in our, if I remember correctly but it never went beyond occasional level them losing an entire gen is still a red flag so that could be going on behind the scenes I remember this, I believe prevailing theory was that this was all the time they were being bought out. Girls saw their new contract and decided to dip. My guess is one of the girls in the bright idea to convince the rest also have an inkling that they didn't think the gen would stand out. Could be they didn't think the gen would stand out. Could be if it was a buyout, if they were bought out by a larger company. Uh, sometimes the contracts after that aren't so great. I do have that experience with, with buyouts of companies. After that, a lot of times companies try to skim the fat off, the quote unquote fat off, and uh, the people left. The people who are grandfathered in a lot of times end up having to sign bad contracts or end up having it like they, they're trying to force them to sign bad contracts. So it could have very well been one of those situations. 
Small little meme moment here for everybody. Everybody involved. Get well soon. This is South Park, of course. Damn it, it never gets any easier. It's only going to get harder and harder until basically impossible. Hala CEO, Nidhi Sanji CEO. Hala we mommy at the top. Nidhi Sanji and mommy. Vishojo mommy. Hala CEO, Nidhi Sanji CEO. Vishojo CEO. Hollow Life with all their, their, their wins. Nidhi Sanji with the recent losses. Vishojo with all the recent wins as well. You know, people getting getting their benefits, getting everything that they need, everything that they desire. You forgot the image with the empty virtual rat city room for Niji. Nothing was there. The image would be way too big if I included everything. Genuinely can't remember a thing where Nidhi Sanji accomplished something besides being an S black company. Smash, Fauna, Nina, Matara, Yago, Gun Run, Smash with Hammer, Riku. Oh god. Wouldn't be a problem if Nidisandi goes down the same path as Wachter and suffers the same fate by going bankrupt. Perhaps more ex-moderators from Nidisandi may release some more documents surrounding the Nidisandi Ian Livers, exposing each and every one of their problematic behaviors in 4K. We can only hope. Kneel to the champions, Yago and Gunrun. Of course, all memes are good. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.